So, the ZBrush Fundamental Series is now complete, which means anyone who tried to move from Blender to the industry standard like I did does not have to waste their time like I did figuring out how to translate all the basics. This has been a crazy experience, not just as a new user, but also as a teacher, and I think I have a pretty good understanding about each software's strengths and weaknesses, so I'd like to share my thoughts on that with you guys today. There's a lot of videos comparing Blender to other software like ZBrush, but I feel like a lot of people just try and avoid conflict by spending 15 minutes basically saying, Oh, well, they're both good, just use whichever one you like more. And to that, I respectfully disagree completely, because there's very clear and objective reasons why you would prefer one over the other, if both are an option for you. So let's talk about that. Blender is like a Swiss Army knife. It's affordable and it's got a little bit of everything like a knife, a saw, scissors, a bottle opener, maybe some pliers, or something you can use as a screwdriver. It's a perfect tool for someone who doesn't know what they're gonna need. So from a 3D software perspective, Blender can model, it can sculpt, it can texture, weight paint, rig, UV, procedural map, animate, lighten, materials, and some rendering. But ZBrush is a screwdriver. And it's not just a screwdriver, it's the industrial grade power drill screwdriver that every construction team in the world uses. ZBrush is a sculpting software, and everything that the developers do is focused on making it better at sculpting. It's not for people who want a texture, it's not for people who want a rig, and it sure as hell is not for for people who want to animate or render things. It's for people who sculpt 10 hours a day, every day, and want to create the highest detail models with the most quality in the shortest amount of time. And that last part is important because a lot of people will say, look, you can sculpt awesome things in Blender for free, so there's no reason to pay money to sculpt awesome things in ZBrush. And if you are not planning to do this for a living, then I actually agree 100%. Blender is more than good enough for you to sculpt awesome things free of charge. But what you are paying for when you buy ZBrush is not quality. It's time. If you know you're gonna be screwing screws all day, yes, you can do it with the Swiss Army knife. And the house could look absolutely beautiful when you're done. But you would have finished a lot more and a lot faster if you had just used the industry standard power drill. And even when a lot of beginners start sculpting in Blender, knowing they would like to do this professionally eventually, they get discouraged because the work just doesn't look the way they imagine, and they get caught up and confused and stuff like how to combine curve modifiers with the array modifier to make a scene chain and then they fall into this fallacy of thinking man if I can't sculpt in blender then there's no way I could sculpt in ZBrush when in reality the opposite is true professionals do not finagle and wrestle with array modifiers and curve modifiers and six frames per second laggy vector displacement maps using jank boolean operations and a hundred dollar retopology add-ons that sometimes don't work in ZBrush sculpting is organic and almost always one click away from your imagination if you want to turn this ball into a monster with wings left click on your wing brush. You want to give it a parasite mouth? Use a monster mouth VDM brush. You want to give it alien pincer arms? Just go find your monster brush and left click. You want to add a creepy demon tail in the shape of an S? Go to your tail brush and left click until you're happy. You don't want to waste your time retopologizing everything by hand? Not a problem. Just dynamesh everything together and auto retopologize. With a basic computer, sculpting with a hundred million polygons is simple, smooth, natural and fast. This monster would have taken me way longer to do in Blender. The same way that ZBrush is not a rigging and weight painting software, Blender is not a sculpting software. Blender is the affordable one-man army. ZBrush is your special ops sniper that you really should only be using when you live in long-range combat. So that's the difference. I hope that clears things up and thank you so much for being patient and riding with me on this crazy journey. I hope this was helpful and as always hope you have a Fantastic day, and I'll see you around.